long and boring No one can live to dance It's full of charts and facts and figures And instructions for dancing But I Love suffers long and, and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. And now remains faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love.
extol him, all you people. For great is his love towards us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever and forever. Praise God. Father, we exalt your holy name. We're gathered in your house. We're here, Lord, to, to be with you and to be with Marisa and with Johan, with their families, their loved ones, their extended families. Lord, we exalt you that this is the day that you've made, that this is the appointed time. And so, Lord, we choose to worship you. We offer this time to you. We pray you would lead us. Get us far, let I or scatter, let I for us lay, let I for us never on the fundings of I shall have far. We pray, Lord, that as we worship you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you would be with us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Linda, ons is hier om feest te vier. Ja, ja, ja. Goeie avond, Ons is hier om as getuienis aan te treel. To witness to this event, this glorious event, this day, what we do on earth will be sealed in heaven. And we're here to pray as God's people. So the first thing we're going to do, friends, is to worship. And we're going to stand together and worship Him. Ons staan elkaar and let's worship our God.
And today is not just a, a wedding day on earth, but it's a wedding day in heaven. You're deciding today for Jesus. You're, you're seeing for the first time that there's only one way to live. There's only one way to get home, to, to live forever, and that's through Jesus. And we're in a holy moment, friends. So just this moment, consider where you are. Are you going to be in the, in the wedding feast of the Lamb one day? Is your name there, friends? And 
Sankey, if I could ask you to stand as well. You to ask you, Sankey, are you willing to strengthen and to support this marriage through your love, through your prayer, and through your concern? Amen. And the same to you, um, to, to Marius and Mariana and of course. Yeah, I nice say. <laughs> so, are you, are you friends, are you willing to strengthen and support this marriage through your love, through your concern, and through your support? So friends, into this holy matrimony, this holy relationship, Marisa Lamprecht and Johan Petrus Osler. He is not my Osler's Rus, I can probably out of it, but Johan Petrus Osler, they do not wish to enter. Therefore, if anyone can show just cause why they may not be lawfully joined together in marriage, let him or her now declare it, or forever hereafter you may hold your peace. And <laughs> so I require and charge you both in the sight of God that if either of you know any impediment why you may not be lawfully joined together in marriage, that you do not confess it. No skeletons in the closet. <laughs> Since no impediment, friends, has been found, alleged, or confessed, let us seek the blessing of God on this union now to be made. Of course, good song. And so, Father, we pray for your blessing on these two beautiful people. We thank you, Lord, for their love, their enjoyment of one another. And as we spend these few moments together, Lord, we realize that we are so dependent on your Holy Spirit. Your Spirit again to fill us, to bless us. You brought them together, Father, in your perfect time. May your Spirit now in all his fullness live in them forever. May their love be holy, their conduct right, their enjoyment pure, and their oneness in Jesus complete. For it is your love, Father, that keeps us safe. It is your honor that we seek. And the desires of our heart, Lord, are to, pre are to please you. So we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Just to ask you guys just to turn around just a little. I'm just going to share a few words with them and with us together before they say their vows together one with the other. And uh, Melissa and, and Johan, um, the title of my message is Anchored for Life. Um, I see the two of you uh, as an anchor, as I've come to know you, Melissa, over the years now and Johan over this last you know, while. I really see the two of you anchoring your marriage in Christ, anchoring um, you know, a godly marriage in the world, which is often a, a windy, turbulent world, but really standing true and standing fast. So a brief text out of uh, Philippians chapter 4 says, Therefore, my brothers and sisters, you whom I love and long for, it's as if the Lord for me was, was writing to you guys. You guys who I love. Yeah. 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 Okay, I know the camera's on it, but you were so, so it's just... <laughs> I think he might have been an ADT kid way back when, but they didn't have tablets yet. Have you noticed that? I said, therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way. So I just picked up three things in this little text. Why I think, you know, and, and why I absolutely believe, and I know deep in my heart, this is going to be a godly, successful marriage. Because you guys have learned something. And we can learn from you. And together, friends, I hope we'll keep growing in our marriage. The first thing I saw there in verses 45, rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. And you've learned, as I see, as I look at you guys, you hold strength and gentleness together. Um, only the Lord could have brought you a blue ball support there. Yeah. Uh, are yeah. you still a king supporter? Or? Uh, well, of course. Occasionally. Okay, but I need to first and second go, absolutely. <laughs> but, but the Lord could have also, it's only him that could have brought somebody who loves dogs together and somebody who loves cats together. Right? Well, what's the name of those dogs again, yeah? Tron and Lola. Tron and Lola. I mean, they just sound ominous, eh? And what's, what's the name of Kaiki? Kernielsi. So how's the Kernielsi going to survive with two dogs that are in a home? So there's been this gentle introduction. But, um, <laughs> so strength and gentleness. And, and friends, that's, that's, that's the heart of a good marriage, isn't it? Uh, strength and you have it and hold on to it and keep on building on it together and, and then he goes on to say the Lord is near 
Well, that just changed everything, doesn't it? You know, if we're going to live that the Lord is near, then he could come tomorrow. And how are we going to live, friends? How are you doing in your marriages and your relationships? Because these folk are doing well. They really are. They really, really are. Secondly, he goes on to say, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition and thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Here's the second thing I see. You've learned to hold anxiety, which we have. We do have anxiety, but anxiety and prayer together. And that's why there's such a peacefulness about your lives. It's not that we don't get anxious about the future, Yuan. You know, um, you know, how could the Lord, it could only get, be the Lord again who brought in an editor and a worship pastor together, hey? You'll sign on the dotted line when she writes those lyrics. And, you know, when, it, when, 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 when he writes good stuff, you'll put it to prose and you'll sing it. Yeah. What a team. Absolutely. Yeah. But only the Lord could have done that. So, and he goes on saying, the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts. Why? Because you hold anxiety and prayer together. And when you do that, when we do that in our marriages, friends, the peace of God descends. And you know what comes out of that which they have? These two, they love to laugh together. They, they love to laugh at one another. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing because they've, they've learned these things over time. And uh, you're just God's gift to one another. Hello, hello, you up there? Yeah. Okay, so, so he lastly goes on to say, finally, as if this is the most important thing of all, finally, finally, brothers and sisters, here it is. Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about these things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. It's what I've noticed about you guys. You love to see the good in each other. You really do. You love to see the good in each other. You love to bring it out of each other. What a gift to hold on to. What an example, friends, for us to see the good in each other. You've been married a few years, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 is it getting difficult to see the good in the other? <laughs> well, these two are showing us how, friends. And they're absolutely dependent on Jesus to keep on doing that in his love, in his goodness. Besides Philippians 4, my, my little closing, um, and it's a word I felt from the Lord to you, as well as Philippians text, a word I felt from the Lord. Kom uit Jesia 43, je vrou, kie, to be my vrou, now. And it's 1983 vertaling. I just wanted to tell you. I just wanted to verify that. Okay, is it great? Okay. And this legit, this is what it said. This is what it said here. And, and here is script lesson. This is what it said. So, so said the Jere. Ne? Or if we're in Klein School, so said the Jere. Ja, die Jere. So, so said the Jere. So said the Jere. He wat the pad gemaakt het, dier die see. A deurgang, dier die machtige waters. Hy wat strijdwaans en perde laat optrek het, en leer op volle sterkte na sy ondergang toe. Hulle kon nie, hulle kon nie weer opstaan nie. Dit was klaar met hulle. Hulle is soos een lamp pit uitgedoof. Maar moet nie net aan die vroere dinge dink, en by die verlede stilstaan nie. Kijk, ek gaan iets niets doen. Dit staan op die punt om te gebeur. Jylle kan het al sien kom. Ek maak, de, ek maak in die woestijn een pad. Ek laat in die droe wereld riviere ontspring. Father, thank you, God, that you make a way. Lord, you've made a way for these two wonderful people. For Marissa and Johan, Lord. It's only you that brought them together. It's you that put it in their hearts to pray, Lord, for somebody in the right time in my life. And this is the time we worship you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's come up here. Marissa and Johanna are going to now be saying their vows one to the other.
is your beard in here? That's on. There we go. Is this one on? In die teenwoordigheid van die almachtige vader, en allemaal hier, verklaar ek my liefde aan jou. Ek kies jou as my levensmaat. Waar jy gaan, sal ek gaan. Waar jy bly, sal ek bly. Jou God is my God. Voor God en al ons vriende en familie, beloof ek om jou lief te doen, en getrouw aan jou te wees. Voor altyd en in alle omstandighede, in goeie tyde, in slechte tyde, in reikdom en armoede, dier siekte en gezondheid, van vandag af, vir die rest van ons levens, volgens die heilige wet van God, dit is my belofte. In die teenwoordigheid van die almachtige vader, en allemaal hier, Johan, verklaar ek my liefde aan jou, ek kies jou as my levensmaat, Waar jy gaan, sal ek gaan. Waar jy bly, sal ek bly. Jou God is my God. Voor God en al ons vriende en familie, beloof ek om jou lief te hee, om getrouw in jou te wees, vir altyd en in alle omstandighede, in goeie en in slechte tyde, in reikdom en in armoede, dier siekte en gezondheid, van vandag af vir die wees van ons lewe, Volgens die heilige wet van God, dit is my belofte. Amen. Dit is nou kyk vir die wakke, asjeblief. Ek geer jou hierdie ding as een teken van my liefde en trouw. For as much as you have come into the gathering marriage and have declared the same before God and in the face of this gathering, this congregation, before these witnesses, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. In the name of the Father,
me our closing closing worship song together. And during that time, uh, Marissa and Johan will be taking communion together. And then we just got one final little announcement at, at the end. Are we all right there, Tim? Good. Shall we stand together, friends, and worship? <clears throat>
with, with uh, the newlyweds. And then there's a huge eat thing going on there. I can see it there. Uh, there's, uh, there's just eats and, and lovely refreshments and you're invited to stay, spend lots of time and enjoy it together. So friends, there's one final thing to do and that's to present to you uh, Mr. and Mrs. How's that sound? Mr. and Mrs. Yuan Fosra.
facts and facts and figures and instructions for dancing but I We're all too young to know But I 